Okay, guys, so we have here YGG. She is a mage and she casts lightning. She is, I think, part dragon. You can see the horns there going out of her head. Let's go to her traits, guys, and let's see if she is the one for you. Okay, so um, both uh, her and Zelvinath are actually available for pulls. So this video will just um, give you an idea if um, you would go for Zelvinath or for YGG, depending on what you need at this point. So um, based on what I've seen in her hero experience, definitely she is going to be very good in movement as well very nice damage with the crit rate in her kit so i just have a couple of questions later because one of her skills in the hero experience doesn't doesn't appear here in the traits so i'll just point it out later so again um there is i think a skill cooldown reduction in one of her skills this one also has um, fatal hit probability, which is, I think, critical hit. So she is high critical hit. And let's check out the trade. So this one is for reduced cool time if you want to go that route. This one gives her plus 10 magic and attack defense. And at the bottom, we have magic corrosion, which is nice if you want to have, if you want to build a magic or a mage team or a magic attack team this one is going to be very good as well because it deals um it gives magic defense minus 30 percent which is big this one is what i mean by increased um increased crit hit so so what she does is she maximizes her damage output by increasing critical hit and also lowering down magic defense of opponents um She's going to be interesting against Charlotte um, at this point. I'm, I'm actually thinking ahead. So this is the one. Again, the translation is not that good. I don't understand some of the translations here. Probably we could update some of the translations. But um, right, right now, um, she's going to deal much damage because she lowers magic defense and she does crit hit. So... She is going to be, you know, um, adding stats with Alicia, and this is one with Nola. Nola is also a thunder um, or lightning mage. This one is uh, so. This one is, I think, an AOE damage. This one is shock. So shock is chance of critical hit plus twenty percent. So again. Damage output I expect for her is going to be massive and she's going to be great with water elements. That is why she's valuable right now. If you don't have Nola, be my guest and you know get her because she will she will be used, I think, in against water elements in PvP if you're into PvP. But again, overall, I think she is going to be very useful in roster, especially if you don't have some of um i know some of the heavy hitting mages that we have you are actually supposed to get her so at this point if you have mages which you know gives buffs or debuffs ygg is going to be a very very good addition to your team let's check out how she's being used and i'll tell you my other thoughts okay so this is her this is the spell that i'm referring to this one gives her the ability to change location with another hero so i'm not sure where is this um you know where is this skill this skill is actually very nice because if she has this then it will give you more flexibility in movement um, especially in PvP, also good in PvE. So let's uh, let's just do a sample here. This one is for this guy. Once you kill him, you swap places with this guy, and this guy will play defense here. End your turn. So as he counterattacks, then that guy's dead. 
Then once it's your turn already. So I'm just gonna do long range damage to Sigurd here. And this one is also long range. So again, she has a um, great amount of damage, guys. Don't get me wrong. Um, and her element is actually one of the things that we need right now. We need more lightning to be able to take care of the dominance of water. So that is how she is going to be used. Very big damage output. Uh, also has a debuff and makes enemies um, prone to magic damage. Okay, so what do I think of YGG? Again, it really depends on your existing roster. If you are looking for a, a lightning mage, I think she is actually better than Nola. Probably a notch better. Again, for mages, the problem with them is they're also squishy. You need to protect them. Um, and you need to make sure that you maximize them while they're on the field. So she gives you a lot of damage because of the negative magic defense and the critical hits that she does. So if that other skill is also present, I don't know if they made a mistake. It's not here in the traits. I'm not sure if it's this skill as well. Um, but at this point, it's not here. So more or less, I hope that when we pull for her, it, it does appear. The one that made you switch, switch, uh, attack and switch. It's actually a very nice skill to have. If it's there, then definitely she is one of the best mages that we have so far. In terms of mobility, in terms of damage, I think YGG should be a must pull if you don't have damage dealing mages already in your roster. So thank you guys for staying this far. Take care, stay safe. This is the Warden and I'm out of here.